Greetings, Planeswalkers. I'm Steve Ricosa, the executive producer at Cryptic Studios for Magic Legends. The wait is almost over, and the PC Open Beta begins next week for our spell-slinging online action RPG based on the famed Magic the Gathering franchise. We're super excited for you all to join us in the multiverse, and I'm here to give you a quick lowdown on what you can expect in our Open Beta. For our team at Cryptic Studios, open beta means collaborating with Magic fans, action RPG lovers, and gamers of all different backgrounds to create a new and powerful gameplay experience. This beta period will allow us to work directly with you to fine tune the game as we move closer to the full launch later this year. Through the open beta, you can expect to cast more than 170 spells while playing five classes across five regions of the multiverse, each with their own unique storylines and campaigns. I'm excited to share that beginning with open beta, there will be no more progress wipes. The Planeswalker you create on March 23rd can explore the multiverse and continue to grow through launch and beyond. As you embark on your journey in Magic Legends, you'll begin with your defining choice, your starting class. Harness the power of light and order as the Sanctifier. Demonstrate the cool, calm intellect of the Mind Mage. Exert powers of reanimation as the Necromancer. Wield the might of the elements as the Geomancer. Or control the ferocity of the wild as the Beast Caller. Each class has a distinct set of base powers made up of their primary attack, utility, and secondary abilities, which are each enhanced as you level up. Regardless of which class you choose first, you can unlock the other classes and freely swap between them in your loadout as you progress through the multiverse. Taking inspiration from our tabletop roots, Magic Legends shakes up action RPG gameplay by including a rotating hand of spells, which are continuously drawn from a deck of 12 spells that you can prepare and customize. As you fight your way across the multiverse, you'll be able to unlock, build around, and upgrade a variety of creature summons, powerful sorceries, or long-lasting enchantments, experimenting with the different play styles and themes represented through Magic's five colors of mana. In addition to spells, progression to Magic Legends comes in the form of collecting and upgrading artifacts and equipment. Open Beta will feature over 50 artifacts, which will unlock unstoppable dex energies through increased damage and triggered effects while there will be over 160 unique pieces of equipment that will allow you to specialize stats and elevate your loadout to new heights. With the separate elements of classes, spells, artifacts, and equipment all combining into a loadout, there are nearly limitless combinations and playstyles you can unlock and experiment with. Whether you want a straightforward approach or have a very specific theme in mind, these loadout components enable you to play your way. In open beta, Magic Legends will transport you across the multiverse to the lush jungles of Zendikar the gothic townships of Innistrad, and the storied diverse regions of Dominaria. Each of these locations has a unique group of inhabitants and its own narrative that will converge and expand into one larger story with the major updates we'll release over time. For added challenge, Magic Legends will feature a total of four difficulty levels. Normal difficulty is the default setting. Hard mode increases enemy health and damage while adding optional regional enchantments to encounters while Expert and Master difficulties ramp up enemy health and damage even more while requiring regional enchantments. For the most difficult challenge and greatest rewards, you can complete missions on Master difficulty with up to three world enchantments. These world enchantments maximize difficulty and maximize your potential reward. Despite all of the perils that await you in the multiverse, you don't need to face them alone. You can choose to form a party and adventure with up to two additional Planeswalkers, and even fight alongside other players and groups in regional overworlds. These overworlds house mythic encounters and challenging world bosses that require more planeswalkers and more firepower to complete. If you care to test your metal in building and piloting decks against other planeswalkers, we will also have 1v1 PvP duels available during open beta, which we will continually monitor and balance to ensure a healthy level of competition. While this is just the beginning of our story, we have so much more in store for Magic Legends. We have over 25 years of magic history to build on and many more stories to tell all while expanding your arsenal of classes, spells, and other features with each post-launch update. Make sure to follow us on our social channels so you're up to date on all the latest news from Magic Legends. Thanks again for following us on our journey so far, and as always, I'll see you in the multiverse.
Greetings and welcome Planeswalkers to our multiplayer live stream for Magic Legends. I promised you we would do this one and here we are. Today is gonna be an awesome day. We've got the gameplay, we've got the giveaways, and we've also got the guests joining us today. Streamer, engineer, and destroyer of cards, Amazonian. How's it going, Amy? Uh, it is going great. I have just done some character customization and I have made Dark Riker the ultimate necromancer and I am loving the colors that I could put onto this. I am the most fashionable planeswalker in the multiverse. The most fashionable planeswalker in the multiverse. Wow, what a title. We're gonna have to see because I did create my character too and I'm, I think I'm looking pretty fly. But also joined with us today, the least mediocre mage we've ever seen, Asian <laughs> Avenger. How's it going, Krim? Hey everybody, uh, I, it's going all right. I am excited to uh, get in and try to play this game. So uh, <laughs> like, yes, it's been a lot of fun. I've been like kind of watching, uh, seeing all this, you know, the, the talk and all the new reveals, the deck building, all of it. It just looks really sweet. Excellent. And we are having a little bit of problems with his account right now. So I think he's working on getting that set up on the back end. This is still a pre open beta build, even though we are going into open beta on March 23rd next week. Just in a few days, just five days away, what we're gonna be playing on today is still like a pre-open beta build. This is an environment just for us so that we can test things and kind of cheat our way in, into more content. But of course, uh, qu quick round of introductions from the production side and then a couple announcements and we'll get into it. So I am SoFetch, community manager for Perfect World Entertainment. We are the publishers on this fantastic title you're about to see today. And with us today from the cryptic side, a man who uh, every picture of him ever taken is a foil premium. It's Steven Ricosa, executive producer on Magic Legends. What's up, Steve? How's it going? Not bad, not bad. That was a pretty good intro. Uh, it's going they... pretty well. Exciting, exciting day. We're getting close. Tuesday next week. I'm excited for everybody to be able to jump in and play this game we've been working on for such a long time. Such a long time. Yep. Home stretch until all of you can check it out in our open beta. PC open beta, March 23rd. And of course, hanging out with all of you guys in chat is Yavier, Cryptic's community manager. She's just gonna be typing furiously to all of you, sharing all the cool information and making sure you guys are behaving. So say hi to her, I'm sure she'll be on the streams pretty soon. And then uh, just quick announcements and we'll hop in. So yes, we are only five days away from our PC open beta. So be sure to follow us on all our social channels. We're gonna have a lot more reveals and stuff going down there. So at Be A Magic Legend on Twitter, Facebook, Discord. We got a Reddit, that's Magic Legends. You can check us out there just on all the places. Definitely come hang out with us, it's really fun. And of course, shout outs to our awesome sponsors, Logitech for hooking you guys up. Now you can control the chaos of combat with this Logitech G903 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. The link to the giveaway should be in the title here on Twitch and it is also in the description on YouTube and on Facebook. And if you're checking this out over the weekend, it'll be down there in the description on, on YouTube as well. So definitely sign up to win one of these fantastic prizes. All right, cool. How's it, uh, Krim, is, is your account working yet? <laughs> Are you able to get in? Uh, I am still waiting for uh, to hear back on the back end. I am, uh, I am not able to get in. Okay, well. For now, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and cut over to the game then. There we are, boom. All right, yes, and remember today, everything on the stream is a pre-open beta version. This is not even close to what you guys are gonna be playing. Uh, it's, it's close, it's close. It's not quite there though. This is a dev environment that we're playing on, so we get to cheat around and do all these crazy cool things. We're cheating? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> we're <gonna use> yeah. <laughs> hey, did you spawn these little uh, green dudes? Oh, no, if you... No, so that's yeah. kind of... Ricosa, take it away. You're rocking the uh, color. Yeah, so you're rolling with the Beast Color class. Yeah, and, just with um, the Beast When you build color. your deck, you, know, you, have a, you have a set number of creatures, um, creature points you're allowed to put into your deck. But the Beast Color, being the Beast Color, gets to uh, have a summon for free. So that's your Ether Fox. That's your little buddy. Hangs out, fights with you. Um, if for some reason it dies, it just kind of goes into a kind of an ethereal form for 10 seconds and then comes right back. So you get that with you all the time. That's your, that's your little bro for, uh, for rolling through the multiverse. Very cool. Very cool. And I say, I still currently have a black deck equipped here, but I'm scrolling through all the cards and well, a lot of spells that I recognize here. Big fan of, uh. <laughs> I see a board wipe right here. See some angels, glorious anthem, love it. Yeah, you know, you can definitely go with a, a dual color deck if you want, unless this was a, a pre-built that Jared set you up with, so that way you're ready to roll. 
Um, um, Jared, what deck would you like me to use? Would, would you like me to use this black deck? Uh, I can uh, definitely keep myself as the necromancer. Yeah, for the first run, we'll just be using these default decks. And then after we do our first mission, then we'll take a little bit of time and we will be able to craft our own decks. And so we'll actually be crafting two of our own decks and using one of these pre-made decks. And so also on our previous streams, we talked about doing higher difficulty levels, so I can sort of show that off right now. Um, when you go to choose a mission, you can choose the difficulty. And we, we've never even shown multiplayer yet, and I don't think either of you have played multiplayer yet either, no, have you? So no, this is gonna be- are lonesome. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to be lonely today. We're, we're all a big family here. And we're gonna be hopping into these higher difficulty levels. We're gonna try hard, and then also we're probably gonna do expert. And then also on top of that, we're probably going to add one of these regional enchantments, which increases the difficulty and increases the reward on top of that. So we're gonna be getting booty bopped probably later on in the stream, but for now I just wanna use this default one because we know it's competent enough because the devs at Cryptic set these ones up for us. And so we're only gonna... Yeah, we're, <laughs> you're, you're rolling on a, it uh, looks like about a 700 loadout score that I saw when you are kind of in your, uh, in your screen there. And so that is more than enough. You guys are probably gonna just handle hard when that comes up. Um, and then um, you'll have a little bit more of a challenge as you move up in those higher difficulty modes. So you can you can give that a shot, especially- Yeah, hard is easy chip. mode. Hard is easy mode. Oh, wow. With the, with the words, there, all right. Yeah, right now. And most of the spells in the starter deck that we have have been upgraded to rank six or above. And so when we actually put decks together later on in the stream, we'll be able to upgrade those ones as well too, but only to six because we only have the resource to be able to do that. So as you upgrade your spells, like let's see, most of these are six, here's a nine. Uh, I think I have one that's maxed. Here we go, Green Warden is actually maxed. So this spell is super buff for us right now. And you can see how much health that guy has, almost 60 K HP. Damn, it's a big boy. See, upgrade. Yeah, and he also has uh, five creature points. So I kind of talked about it a little bit before. I've talked about this on some other streams, but you can see you have 12 out of 12 creature points up there on your, um, on your deck. And so each deck can have up to 12 creature points worth of creatures, and each creature has a different value. So it's similar to kind of like tabletop games or your army building. So how do you want to spend your 12 points? You could spend zero and just go all um, all sorceries and enchantments, or you could take this big old chonker who's uh, who's at five points. And I think five points is the max that we have right now at the uh, open beta launch, but they're all the way down to one. So you could have a small number of big creatures, a large number of small creatures, or just kind of mix and match to kind of how, however you want it. Um, so a lot on my of, channel, a lot of I'm blocking. kind of covering it, but the points are down at the bottom. Um, so like this is a three point creature. You've got two point creatures uh, yep. in this deck. It looks like we're gonna spawn some zombies as a necromancer. That does make sense. Yes. yes, you're rolling with cabal, some zombies, a lot of undead, gross things. You know, classic, uh, classic black deck sort of stuff. Gross. So. Ew. And having lovely. the free creature also will synergize pretty well. From your hanging uh, around on Innistrad. I guess you're back. So zombies. you had one free creature. You had one free creature because of your um, beast caller, but with your necromancer, when you uh, cast your secondary ability, you'll actually get probably based on the level of this character three token, um, three token skeletons that'll pop up and actually do some work for you as well. In, a, in addition to all the creatures you already have in your deck. Rad. Any luck there, Krim? Not yet. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look at our loadouts then. If you go to the tab up at the top and click on loadouts, when you're in the menu, you can see artifacts and equipment. I'm pretty sure the devs hooked us up with full loadouts, so this is going to be super overpowered for the content that we're going to be doing. We got some mythic yep. qualities here. Got some uncommons. Looking pretty good. Yeah, Rikosa, do you want to just kind of give us the lowdown on artifacts and equipment? Yeah, so I talked a little bit about your deck, right? And you're kind of, you build it out kind of however you want, maximum of two colors once you unlock that, which is pretty early on. Um, and you can kind of build it any way that you want. And then your, uh, your artifacts synergize really well with your deck. So when you see those two together, that's like peanut butter and jelly. So what we do on our side, when you're trying to build like a really cool deck, a really cool loadout. What you do is you kind of pick a legendary artifact because legendary artifacts, like if you maximize their value, they can be pretty gross. So you kind of pick a legendary artifact and a type of play that you're after and you kind of marry them together. So Goblin Supply Manifest, which uh, Jared has selected right here, um, will basically launch a barrel 
from a summon every time you summon it, and it'll launch a random enemy. So you're going to see barrels flying all over the place and just exploding on enemies. Um, and it, it's pretty sweet. And so you kind of, in this situation, this works really well on a deck that has a ton of creatures. If it's a deck that doesn't have a ton of creatures, um, on the left side of the screen there you've got, you know, Draconic Flux. And that's a different one that we talked about where every time you cast a sorcery, you have a percentage chance to summon a 6-6 six, six Shiv Dragon token creature. And so you kind of want to build your uh, legendary artifact into the way you're thinking about your deck. And then the graders and the lessers kind of season to taste, right? There's good stuff in the graders that can really synergize. Lessers tend to be like fun stats, right? Ah, bonus, bonus health from health orbs, uh, that sort of thing. So um, again, artifacts and uh, your deck, those synergize really well together. Um, we talked a little about classes earlier. Equipment synergize with your classes. So when you look at those, uh, you're looking at your equipment and you've got different benefits and they um, you know, could increase how often you can use your secondary or utility abilities. They can increase how frequently you can use your mana surge or spark powers. Um, they change your innate stats and resistances. So there's a lot going on with your equipment and your class. So there are a ton of options to kind of customize yourself any way you see fit. And since we have the, uh, the equipment system up, which I'll, I'll kind of remind everybody, we weren't originally going to ship with the equipment system. It was kind of feedback given from the community, kind of on Twitter, on the boards, for our closed alphas, that we kind of implemented the system um, because people felt like it was just so critical to have in, in this game. So thank you all for the great feedback. I'm glad we're able to get it in. Um, you're also able to customize your gear. You can see it's got, uh, you know, if you select one of them, the very top mod there um, is baked in. That one you can level up by per by collecting, you know, duplicates of the Nemesis mask and then kind of rolling those, uh, those percentages up. But below there are the swappable mods. So while you're playing, you'll collect mods for your gear. And if you click swap, you'll see all these different mods in there. So you can say, I don't like activate mana surge. I want the blue resist. And so you could just, once you've unlocked that mod, you can select blue resist and then level that up as well. So you can really customize your gear to match your play style and also customize your gear to kind of match the way you like to play your class. So there's a lot going on there. And of course, of course, there's all those stats and numbers, but if you care about looking cool and customizing your appearance, all these uh, all these uh, gear options, all these all this equipment options come with visuals as well. And so the way that we set that up is, instead of putting on a piece of gear and then that changes your helm or your shoulders or whatever, um, what we do instead is if you get that drop, if you get that piece of gear, um, that item then goes straight to your tailor. And so then you can go to the tailor and make yourself look however you want based on all the gear and things that you've collected. Um, and then you can go into your equipment system and just put on whatever equipment you want. So um, they're linked in that they're unlocked, but they're not linked in that you can wear whatever you want and look however you want without having to kind of swap anything around in a different way. So a lot of really cool options there um, to make yourself look cool and to adjust kind of how powerful you want to make yourself based on setting yourself up. Um, Brad. And you can see... Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Jared. Oh, yeah. You know, I love this tailor. It's such a fantastic thing. You know, like, transmog in general, just being able to customize your character is so much fun because you just go in and you just make those tiny little tweaks, change the color a little bit, just change your pants around. But this also allows you to completely change your character's model. So you can change your gender, your size, your skin color, the eye color, hair color, the head, everything. You can change everything about your character. So when you choose in the beginning of the game, you are not locked into that look. You can totally modify your the entire way that your character appears. Yeah, yeah, there's a ton of options in there that really let you customize what you want to do with your character. And there are a lot of really cool options that are in the game as well. So you're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of ability to kind of make yourself feel unique among uh, the crowd of other planeswalkers that are making the rounds. Definitely enjoying the different clothing options. There are some very, very cool ones in here. And you can recognize a lot of these as being from, like, these are... These are the outfits that people in Magic the Gathering wear from different planes, and some of them are even like from Planeswalkers. So awesome. Yeah, you know, the, the helm of Josu Vesta is in there, and I think it's a pretty sweet <laughs> piece of equipment. But the, the Sometimes helm Sometimes you just want to be a Lich Knight, I get it. Every once in a while, you know, you're never short on friends when you're a necromancer. That's true, words to live by, or to die by. Yeah, one of those. 
So I don't know if we've really been able to show this off that well, but I want to show off how it's ch uh, class changing works because it's not just your cosmetics yeah. that you change. You can just change your class on the fly. So right now, yeah, there you go. There's your little Zombo buddies. So we are a beast caller. We have this sweet ax. And we've also got our little Aether Fox pet here. But just opening up the menu and going into our loadouts and it's a class. You can see all the class statistics here on the right side. You can see their level info, what they unlock each time you level up. So all of these characters are level 30. And each time you hit a level on the Planeswalker class, then you unlock one of these sort of passive improvements to your, to your Planeswalker class. But we can just click over to Necromancer like this. And then boom, we're yep. a Necromancer. Yeah, so a class again is just part of your loadout. So if you're playing, if you start the tutorial, you're playing as a necromancer, and then you kind of you progress through your realm and unlock some other classes. You don't have to go start a new tune, start your library over again, start collecting you know spells all over again. You just swap into it. You just swap into it, and it's it's kind of neat. And in fact, these these uh, characters have uh, pretty high level unlocks, right? You took them to level thirty. Mm -hmm. um, Jared, if you could jump over to the um, traits. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we could take a look at. Yeah, so when you hit level 30, you unlock a trait. And that trait um, you can carry with you and use when you're playing on any other class. So if you're like, oh man, I really love the uh, Geomancer trait um, and I'm gonna go start a new class. And if, you're, if you've already maxed it out, you can have up to three trait slots where you can kind of slot those in. And so you can kind of mix and match which traits you want on your class. Um, and this becomes something that unlocks once you hit level 30 on um, on one of your classes. So it makes you wanna, oh, maybe I'll go over and, you know, pair that you can see right here, Primal Rage with Necrotic Burst and Psychic Prowess, like all of those combined together to give you some pretty potent capabilities. And while it may be a little overkill for normal or maybe even hard, you're gonna need all this stuff when we finally get into, um, you know, mass, expert and master and really see um, see how that difficulty can swing upwards. Rad. Well, uh, while we're waiting for the Asian Avenger to get logged in, it looks like they're working with him on the technical side. You just want to jam into a mission? We can just get started. Sure, if you guys want to uh, you know, play a mission solo and, and give it a look on a higher difficulty mode, and then we can see what it looks like as a team, I think that works. Cool. All right, me and my skeletons are coming back to the town. <laughs> All right, so we are already in a party. I see oh, you figured okay. out how the interface works, I think. Somebody invited I, me to this party. I tried to add somebody as a friend, and I guess ah I yes. Add oh, is that the to a party? Okay. Yep. There we go. I, I'm pretty sure we're in a party right now. You are the party leader. Does that mean so, I get to choose where we're going? You can tell me where we're supposed to go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what levels are open. So we go to the guide, right? Yeah. Check this out. So we uh, open up the menu, and you go to guide at the top, and then there's a list of all of the zones that you can travel to up here. So each one of these is like a, a story mission. And so there's other things in here that, you know, you go through and do the main quests. And then as you complete the quest, and they will be uh, listed with a check mark. So we know that we've done like this Banalia story mission before. And we can repeat these as often as we want. You can just start grinding these. You can increase the difficulty level. You can also queue for a public party if you want. But for this one, we are going to be doing in Banalia Purge of the Darkness. So click on that okay. Banalia tab, and then we're going to be doing Dark. Purge of the Darkness. And you said we wanted to start on hard, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just start on hard. Okay, nice. Regional enchantments on, off. You got a preference? Uh, you're the party leader. It's up to you. Ooh, enemies reflecting 20% of the damage they take. That sounds like it's gonna hurt me. <laughs> yeah, probably. A oh, Krim just joined. I, I am, I am, I am on. So. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll add him to the party. Yes, Miss Party Leader, if you don't oh, mind, oh, shoot an invite. Where did come from? <laughs> <laughs> I summon Where's... some sort of an abomination. I just look over and there's this horrible thing. Okay, what's up? He's kind of cute, a little stinky, but he's, he's got a soft face. Aw, we can call him a little stinky. <laughs> oh, what are the numbers on Krim's account? I believe it's 130, but we need the actual ARC account number for that. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you in town here, Krim? Not yet. I am currently in the settings, just uh, doing some stuff here real quick. To get ah, okay, my, cool. yeah, get me all signed in and proper. No, that's not my boyfriend. My boyfriend is not a six-legged, jawless atrocity. <laughs> I have slightly better taste than that. 
Good for All you. Right. I don't. <laughs> All right, so I think everything's good. I'm gonna log in now. Sweet. Uh, And Let while we are doing that, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you guys this Logitech mouse giveaway. Be sure to hit this up. It's totally free. Don't have to All do right, anything. Everybody. Just click the link. Have a chance to win. So I'm pretty sure we're all here in Gavini, so we should be seeing him pop up right here. And this is sort of one of the main hubs of the zone. Actually, we can look at the map. Check out this map. Boom. So we've just been hanging out in this little corner here. And there's a lot of stuff going on on this map. Rokosa, can you explain what all these different icons are? What this mythic encounter thing is with the circle? What all these different things are here? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the Gavini overworld map. And the, and the town we were just in is Hexenrass. And that's your kind of little safe zone in the overworld. And every overworld has one for every plane and region that you're going to. Um, but in here, we have a pile of stuff that's going on that you can do by yourself or with up to uh, six total people running around in here. So the, um, the little red icons you're seeing on there, those are towers, those are mana towers. And when you take those down, you kind of attune the mana in the area and you'll unlock reliquaries. And reliquaries are little like micro dungeons where you'll go and like, fight some enemies and get a chance to collect uh, an artifact. Um, and then once you collect that artifact, you can run around and kind of do the same thing and find more of those around. Uh, we also have random skirmishes throughout there. And those are kind of, <clears throat> you can see the little swords. And so the little swords in the, in the little diamonds, um, there are, uh, you know, low level ones, mid level ones, high level ones that, that kind of scale in difficulty and complexity that, and they're kind of randomly popping up around the world. Um, on the bottom left, you can see the little red circle on, uh, on Jared's screen, and that is a mythic encounter. So that is a high level, high difficulty boss that you probably could maybe do by yourself, but want a couple of people typically to go in there and take it out, huge rewards on that. And then um, additionally, you're kind of, we, we tweeted about it the other day, you have the uh, planar instability meter. And while you're doing all this stuff, while you're doing skirmishes, while you're doing mythic encounters, while you're clearing reliquaries and doing mana towers, um, you're filling up that meter. Once it caps out, um, you will have an opportunity to fight the world boss for this region, which is two bosses at the same time that are high difficulty mode and can support up to the entire overworld. So all six people can go, go into that area, fight that guy um, or that collection of people and uh, and get huge rewards for that as well. So there's a, a lot of really cool options there and something that wasn't in the last closed alpha, but will be in for open beta, um, there are difficulty modes for overworlds. So you could actually sit through and, you know, you could play on normal and just kind of wreck shop, or you could play on the higher difficulty modes, of course, for higher rewards. As well. Rad. And we are just about to get to some gameplay. I see Krim is in the process of logging in right now. Uh, it looks like it's playing the introductory cutscene for him. Okay, so uh, Amy, let's just go ahead and queue up. He, he's got a fresh character. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and queue up away for him to get that fixed. Okay, great. So I will go back to the old guide here. We're gonna go purge some darkness on hard mode. Sounds good to me. I've queued for the mission. Excellent. So we see under the map here that it is queuing us up. We are on a private server for just us, so it's probably gonna take a little bit to spin these up. So just big chilling for now. That's cool. Me and my uh, me stinky and my buddy, stink buddy stink. here. Yeah, come on, boy, come on. Oh, you Gotta killed go. him! Oh, oh! oh he's dead. I think I, I think I sacrificed my creature in order to uh, make this horrible thing happen. Oh, man. This, F's in chat up. for little stinky. F's in the chat for little stinky. You'll be I'm missed. Little stinko. <laughs> I like how this is Benalia purged the unholy, and I'm like the most unholy thing imaginable. <laughs> well, hopefully you will not be purged. We are playing on hard, right? So I think yeah. it shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. I think our, our decks are pretty stacked. So th this should be a, a, a walking Yeah, it part. should be all stacked. 
All right, I know you are enjoying a little difficulty well because you're playing uh, with multiplayers. Yes. Assume it scales with the number of players you have and the levels of the characters. Something you, you mentioned oh, that yeah. there was a loadout yeah, store. A I don't know if it's what that's what it uses. Oh. Yep, so it'll definitely use your loadout score, but it also uses kind of multiplayer modifiers. Um, so we're in this area. The Cabal have kind of been uh, defiling some of these uh, old temples of Sarah. And so you are rolling through here and trying to uh, cleanse these artifacts that they have that they have tainted. Um, so we're looking at, you can see that uh, that guy with the yellow uh, I'm in Gavini now. He's in a fixed enemy. He's got kind of a... He's got kind of a special, unique ability uh, that makes him a little more difficult to play, a little more of a challenge to uh, All right. to take out, and they're kind of variable. So you're going to see, you know, varying numbers of them throughout that'll kind of change up the combat experience. He's energetic and legendary. Yeah, he's a big boy. All right, Krim, it sounds like you're good to go, but we actually just started this mission, so if you just want to, like, get accustomed to your deck, you can show it off to your chat and sure, you can customize sure. your character too go in and make yourself look pretty 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 planeswalker okay go for it man uh, i will do that all right cool. I by will the way wait. compulsively i'm gonna pick up all this loot i know i don't get to keep it on this account but like i need it i need the loot it's so it shiny so good to collect. All, right. all right so we're following these little gold markers that are on the the hud like the overlay so i'm just gonna start heading up to the north one i guess and I think we're trying yeah, to so, purge all uh, the unholy around these parts. Yeah, so the way this mission works is there's a variety of them and you can kind of pick the path that you want to take and then you're clearing them out and um, and you'll take out a bunch of enemies and then you'll have kind of a boss at the end. Sweet. So you know- away from me. I'm chasing this cleric who's just apparently very hard to kill. <laughs> yeah, actually, maybe we'll stay together. I'm gonna come back to you. Because we'll, you'll notice, like, when you play single player on normal, you kind of just shred everything, especially with the base deck. They're very strong. You start off with some pretty good stuff. But now that we're in multiplayer and it's scaling up, and also we bumped it up to hard, and it's scaling up even further, like, dang. Yeah, we, we, we got to sort of... Our, our powers combined. Exactly. Whoa. It's definitely one of the things together. And you can, you can take all these guys out, but you are not boosting your score by doing so. I mean, you're getting a little bit of score, but you're definitely uh, taking out those uh, those, rel those realms, those relics is going to really boost that score up pretty high. Um, so we should probably head for that those is, relics. That is yeah, let's do it. I will follow you, Miss Party Leader. Oh, those are your plants. Nice uh, Bela Thalid, I, th I think. Yeah. The, uh, the Green Warden, you guys have some Chonker decks. These are some big old creatures out here. I might have added a bigger creature to my deck because <laughs> I saw the ones that you added and I said, wow, that's impressive. But what if we had this instead? What if it could be bigger? <laughs> what if I added the bigger one? <laughs> so I just use a kicker there. Yeah, so. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Rikosa. Yeah, so you're seeing those barrels going flying. Those hits the artifact we were talking about before, and you can see. You know, we talked about it on previous streams, but you've got the random hand down there. You're cycling through your spells. So you have your 12 spell deck and it's cycling with your, uh, with the four spells you have available. And then um, you can see that Jared has up um, his spark power. And so he feels like he's in a spot where he wants to use that. Um, each class has their own unique spark ability. Uh, and it kind of is a way to like clear the battlefield. You'll generally build up a couple of these over a mission. Um, you can either choose to uh, press your E key or pull the left trigger if you're playing on a controller and consume a quarter of that bar for a bunch of mana regen so that way you can cast more spells or you can burn it all at once using your uh, spark power to really take out uh, anything that's really in the field. And don't worry everybody, Big Stinky did come back and he was dealing some serious damage before I uh, sacrificed him to cause a grave upheaval. Awesome. He's back, I see him. He's in the mix there. He's partying hey! with the rest of the dudes. Big Stinky, Big Stinky, <laughs> stealing the show. She's Baylots take up a lot of room. I'm like, oh, where am I? I think I'm, uh, I'm, I think I'm hidden behind your big beasties. Yeah, they got big booties, big booty Baylots. All right, so I think we're just about to, yes, the relic has been cleansed. And you can, uh, as you buff your creatures, they actually get larger. 
And so you have, uh, you can eventually see some like giant bail off that usually our buffs are time based, but for a short period of time, you could get like a huge bail off or like a sapperling that's, you know, bigger than you. Like there's a lot of really cool options in there as you're messing around with the decks and focusing on different styles of play. Rad. So I think we should be we heading this way. Make our way downtown, head to the next one. Yeah. yeah sounds good. <laughs> We're gonna wait downtown, finding relics and cleansing them of evil. That was beautiful. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out which direction the next one is in. I'll follow you now. Okay. You, you probably know where they. Let's cross this bridge. Cool Ooh. little set piece right here. Nice little bridge. Zombies waiting for you. We've got one real close right here. So we're gonna run up, activate it, and now we are in the process of the cleanse. So, oh, Rikosa, here's something new. This, uh, the Sapperlings, wait. Yeah, this is an activated ability, right? That is correct, yeah. So we have activated abilities. You know, like in Magic, you'll have a card that says, you know, press this and, or press this, uh, you know, <laughs> one red and tap this card and then you'll get some sort of effect. Well, we have those in the game as well. And so the Grove Warden synergizes with Saprolings. Any <laughs> Saprolings get the Grove Warden get a plus one, plus one boost whenever they're nearby. Well, when you see the Saprolings or the Grove Warden come up through again, instead of, um, recasting them and having a second one out there for a short period of time, you get, for a lower mana cost, you get to cast a couple of Sapperlings out of your Grove Warden. So you'll be able to get that synergy without having to have a Sapperling card in your deck. So you get a few options there. And so there are a handful of spells in the game that have activated abilities like that. And it kind of adds a little more depth and strategy to the way that you're kind of playing the game. Getting some fat loots here. So many shinies to pick up. Yeah, the demon helping us out. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Did you, did you summon this dude? Yeah, uh, that's that's the card I added into the deck because I thought, hey, that'd be awesome. Ah, uh, beautiful. It is awesome. <laughs> this dude looks rad. He's breathing fire. <laughs> We've got two more relics to cleanse. Let's we'll see if we can earth. snag those Ooh. real quick. There's one that's a little bit north of here. It's pretty close. I'm going to activate this right up front, and I think all of my summons are going to mostly take aggro. So they sort of like block for you. Uh, a lot of the bigger the summon is, the more threat that it generates. That's, That's right. And then the enemies will kind of spread out on your foes. So having some creatures out will give you a little bit of breathing room to cast your sorceries and kind of handle objectives. Um, but of course, you could just run pure sorceries and enemies aren't bugging you if you're just killing them all. So there's yeah. a lot. So I got a question in my channel. Is this coming to console or is this going to be a PC release? So the, uh, the March 23rd date is PC only, but we will be going to console later this year. Awesome, nice. Yep, March 23rd, PC open beta on ARC and the Epic Games Store, free to play, check it out. It's just like five days away. You will be able to play this game with all of your friends and all of your summons, who hopefully yep. are also your they friends. They are also our friends. Big Stinky is our friend. Yes. Chunky Bailoff, Best Buddy, all these boars. Well, they're not really friends. They're like acquaintances. Mm, yeah. And if uh, you guys could press the R key and really clean these guys out, maybe save it for the last oh, relic. Yeah, we've got. I've got uh, the, the. You said that was the spark ability. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for the boss. Ability. So each class has one kind of signature. So yeah, save it for the last one. You'll head over there, and you guys can uh, cast that and really just clean those enemies out. Yep. We got less than a minute and a half on this one, so I'm gonna activate this relic. Hopefully, we have time to do this. Uh, it's gonna cut it pretty close. I think we might be oh, able to. I didn't even notice there was a timer. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's behind my microphone. Ah, uh, yes. Any creatures spawning here that need a uh, ghoul infection? Let's use whatever this R ability is. Oh, I am spitting zombies left and right now. Back here. Come back here. Give me your whites. While well, she's uh, burninating everything over on that side, oh, I can just chill over here next to the relic and I am free to hang out and get all of our points stacked up and it's a good teamwork. That's right. All right. She's taking the enemy and you're taking the objectives. Yep. Final relic has been cleansed, so I think we get a, a modifier, a, like a multiplier to our bonus. 
Yep, and then you'll have a, uh, and then the boss fight will come up shortly. So you kind of have the lightning round. Uh, as you keep killing enemies, it keeps ticking up your score. So you want to just kind of keep driving that score up um, to get as many as possible. I was just AFK over here next to the relic and Amy's killing everything and I'm still reaping all the benefits. I just picked up all of that loot. Thank you, Amy. No, 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 no. That was for Big Stinky. <laughs> he deserves equipment. Loot's unique per person as well, so. You're not stealing her loot. You get. You guys are getting your own, just to just to make sure everybody knows. Uh, so we don't have to like really roll snacking. for loot and then argue. Hey, you voted need. Come on. Exactly. This is even for your class. I think the boss wand over here, is sort of to the east. I'm gonna run over to this uh, guy Barbara, and see about whacking him. of souls. I know that's not what it says, but it's definitely Barbara. Binder Barbara. Of soul. Yeah. Yep. The great and mighty Barbara. I'm gonna use a couple of my spells here, and then we are going to spark power right now. Boom. Burn. So you're doing huge AOE damage now. I see this this field yeah, kill spinning all the around you, and Barbara is being <laughs> obliterated. And you've got the giant 5-5, five five, your ether fox just kind of jumped up in size, doing tons more damage. Um, super, super cool. Oh, and now there's Halares, oh. the Unbound. This is the real boss. That was a uh, pretty impressive. Was just summoning. Barbara yeah. was just summoning this bad boy. I think we made quick work of them. Treasure, glorious treasure. Sweet. Boy, I got some altruism. Nice and smooth, and now we get to reap the rewards. Lots of spell shards. Since we have everything unlocked, we have a chance to unlock spell shards for all of our spells. Awesome, and yep. I believe now we can get Krim in on the party, right? Yeah. yeah. I see him creating his character right no. now. I Sorry, I was... <laughs> I can spend hours at a load-in screen and just creating, designing my characters. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you're hovering! I see you did have a good choice in outfit. That's the same uh, outfit I put on my guy, because he looks excellent! I, I'm pretty excited with... Like, I'm trying to get my character to look as Grixis as possible, so... <laughs> Ooh, you need a big silly hat. I, I, I Is Grixis sil a silly hat? Hold on. Grixis uh, should have silly hats. You kidding me? You got demons, Nicol Bolas has those horns. That's I, that's true. That's true. Okay. All right. I mean, I guess we'll have to get a hat later, but but all right. I think I'm good. Now I just need to exit the screen. Cool. Yeah. Make sure to save it. I did. I did. Okay. So uh, awesome. I'll just cl click on the X here. Yeah. Top right. I built, I customized my deck to have like two colors. Cool. So I'm excited to try this out here. Excellent. And actually, now is a good time, Amy, if you want to invite him to the party so we can hit escape. Already did it. Ah, oh, I see. Wow, oh, you're on oh, top oh, of it. I think that. I'm not 10 steps ahead here. I'm playing this Look game on hard mode. Come on. I just got in and I'm already on hard mode. Let's go. Let's go. This is going to be difficult. Actually, I think we're going to jump up to expert and let's take we're a few minutes right since. Expert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, trial right. by fire. So, Amy, uh, actually, you yeah. and I have not had a chance to customize our decks. So, Krim, if you need to a little bit extra time to customize your deck or customize your character okay. or whatever, Amy and I, we're going to take a few minutes to make a deck for us right now. And also, okay. oh, make sure to upgrade, upgrade your spells, too. So when you're on your library screen, at the top, you can click on the spell, and at the bottom, uh -huh. you can click upgrade. So make sure to upgrade right. them to six. You can just mash upgrade spell until they hit level six, because we're going to need oh. that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need that. So, oh, there it is. Spell scrolls. That's what it was to upgrade, or... Spell pages, oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, spell pages. Yep. I'm just building it with nothing but removal spells and a few creatures. That always works, right? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that's fine. That's, that sounds right. Is there a way to... um? It's how I would play through, Magic uh, Chess. <laughs> the decks that you already have, or... um. Yeah, we only yeah, have so one can... setup for these ones. But yeah, we're supposed to take it away, so we'll just sw swap out what we have. I'm just trying to figure out how to like make a new deck without deleting the one I have. Uh, we oh. can't do that on oh. this account, you unfortunately, because oh, it's, it's yeah. major cheated. And maybe we can. Yeah, actually, Rikosa, if you want to try. Yeah, you can generally save out uh, some number of decks, uh, but yeah, since we set this whole character up for you, um, it might be it might be tough right now. But yeah, you can you can clone the deck if you click the little plus. All right. You can clone the deck, and then you can kind of build stuff out of it, and then save it out, and then you can easily access 
any number of decks or loadouts that you've kind of built over time. Nailed it. You can easily swap. Cool. Nice. And for my chat, guys, everybody that's watching the uh, official stream, look, I, I just put a poll up. So I want to solicit information from you guys. What mana colors do you want to see? So we'll pick I the top two. I will be going Boros because I like Boros. I am I already that's... blue and black. Boros is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. There's a large number of goblin decks in there that, uh, that you can do some pretty cool stuff with, I have to say. This Nightmail Stalker looks so cool. <laughs> some girls in here. Let me. All right. Hold on. Wait, chat. Do we want a crab? Wait, is this a crab? Crab. 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 <laughs> All right, all right, crabs. All right, I'm, I'm putting a crab in. I got to put a crab in. It's looking like we're going to be choosing blue, black. Oh, maybe blue, white. It's neck and neck between white and black. I'm exactly tied right now. What, about 30 seconds left? And then I'll put this thing together real fast. Probably know all you know all the good stuff bright and early. <laughs> yeah, I've only had uh, one cup of tea this morning, so I'm just gonna just whip it up. Hopefully, you guys have had time to make good decks, and you can carry me. I was actually gonna ask that you and Amy carry me. So <laughs> it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully, you got room on your back. Yeah, and let's right. make sure whenever you pull your deck together, make sure you uh, rank up those spells, whichever you decide to build your deck with, because. Yeah, you want to be in that, you know, if you guys are in that 700 range, that next difficulty rank up is still going to be a challenge. You want to make sure you're not in too much trouble there. Yep. All right, so it looks like we're doing blue-white. Thank you very much, chat. So, okay, blue is generally control and white is about healing. So this is going to be a little tricky, but okay, I know I like Avatar Frost. That's a big boy. Water Elemental's That's excellent. Big... Wait, can you heal me? Because if so, I can hit myself a ton and then you can heal me. <laughs> You yes. can heal other players, okay. yeah, or buff oh. other players. Absolutely. Tidal Wave is good. It's pretty beefy. Where's my draw? Magnetic Pulse is excellent. Maybe we need a few more creatures. Academy Wizard's good, too. Oh, here we go. Get Tornado in there. Tornado is sweet. Tornado? Okay, sounds good. Here, I'm actually going to replace yeah, that's, that's this. That's in my deck. I saw that, and it looks really cool. I Chat's asking for Homerids. It is really cool. Chat knows what's up. Awesome <laughs> Homerids are sweet. <laughs> that that spell's kind of my white whale, because I, uh, oh, you know, obviously I played in all the closed alphas with everybody else, just to kind of give my own feedback. And that is the one spell that I have never gotten. It never dropped for me. I mean, it's just like, come on, I want to get this spell. Perfect. We hit exactly 12 creature points. So now let's go with the shield. We can go with a little bit of healing. I think we have enough damage here. And especially with the creatures, we should be okay to just go straight healing. Oh, yeah. Healing recall's good because we do have a lot of dudes. And then... Yep. Fire blasting. I've got some creatures. I've got offensive goblins. Sorry, goblin offensive. They are pr pretty offensive goblins. They, they have potty taken. mouths. Mm, what do you think, chat? Divine Wrath, we could go for more damage. Spirit Offering's good too, get a little bit of heals. Yeah, let's do this. This, I believe Spirit, Spirit Offering, offering for the crew. yeah, I believe Spirit Offering allows party members to pick up the orbs, right? Absolutely, yeah, and it actually you can kick it too, so you can drop it for cheap, or you can kick it and drop, I think, five of the orbs, and that becomes uh, health that anyone in the party can pick up, which you all might be needing here. Yeah, since we're gonna crank up the you're difficulty. You're leveling up there, Jared. Two thirty-nine. You're in trouble. I do need to level up. Thank you. Uh, I almost forgot. You need to level up. Oh. All right, we totally did not cheat these accounts to have a ridiculous amount of spell pages and all this currency, so we're gonna upgrade. Just click it through, and this will get us to level six. We had Jared playing all of these accounts. 
<laughs> yeah, you can take them all to level six. And when you get to the higher ones, it actually requires you to be playing higher difficulty modes to uh, get some of the drops that are required to uh, level these spells up. You can see as Jared's leveling up these uh, these spells, you can see on the top left corner his uh, loadout score improving. Yep, to the so moon. That loadout score is not just your spell level, it's also your artifact levels, it's also your class level, um, it's also your equipment level. So there's a lot going into what makes up a loadout score. Accidentally drag something off. I think it was light shield, but maybe since we have so many dudes, we actually just want to go glorious anthem. Uh, that sounds like a better idea. Let's do that. Why not? And also something cool here is you can equip cosmetics for the creature skin, for the summon skin. I don't think we have the cosmetic unlocked yet, but you can switch them out, and so you can sort yeah, of customize yeah, so, like everything. Uh, Hey, yeah, so you have new. different, you know, complete skins that you can swap for. There you go. There's one right there. And so you can just swap right into it, and then you can have a different look to your summon. So that way, if you've got a Fiend Slayer Paladin and your buddy does too, yours looks different. Cool. Sorry, what was the question? I was going to ask if you could go three colors, but I don't, I don't know if you can or can't uh, with a deck. No, there's no three colors at, uh, at launch for open beta, but we'll see what player sentiment is. If there's a desire for people to splash that third color and, and uh, roll the dice on how that'll go, then we can uh, we can definitely do that. Well, I'm ready for uh, I'm ready for some uh, some questing here. So you, uh, we all have our deck builds ready. Yeah, I think so. I so think let I me do. check the script. Where are we dropping, boys? Where are we dropping? We are going to do a story mission. We're going to go to Shiv to Mana Rig. So right. I believe there's a boss at the end of this. I think this is one of there the end chapters. Yeah. So this is something I don't think we've even shown off on like any of our streams or any of our footage previously, we are gonna yeah. fight like a, an end boss. This should be okay. really exciting. Uh, do you yeah, wanna go to uh, expert uh, level the, uh, or just uh, keep it on hard? We should totally go to expert. We should totally all go right, to expert. expert to this. Yep. We're all decked out. You guys upgraded spells, it. right? Let's, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's hope this goes oh, well. Be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I upgrade all my spells. So we're gonna see if I, I built my deck the way I think it should work. <laughs> Excellent. I just kind of threw some random things together. I mean, there's a little bit of a rhyme and reason to it, but yeah, I think uh, we aren't very calibrated with these decks either, but we are a little bit higher than the required level for this mission anyway, since we're just doing it on expert. I think expert requires level 400 loadout score, and we're probably in the 600s. No, expert, expert 750. Oh, oh, okay. This is gonna be fun. This, this will yeah, be entertaining. Yeah, having a good time. Yeah. You know, we've, we've done plenty of these streams where we've been playing it on easy mode. I think that showing people a little bit of a challenge for yourself is good. It's yep. good for everybody. <laughs> it's time. Yeah, I want a challenge. I wish to fail horribly. <laughs> well, you're in luck. <laughs> Put our decks to the test. All right, I'm going to... We built I... them ourselves with no experience in this game. Yep. I, we'll, we'll see. I, I, I hope... My, I'm really excited about mass manipulation. I read that spell, and that just that's you're such just a cool like thing. I want to steal everything. You love stealing, oh, like, exactly. <laughs> Help, Squee. Oh, th why did you make Squee wet? Give him a oh. bath. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to see if Squee uh, needed a bath. Yeah, there we go. We'll go with that. Not because I pressed a button. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. It's a button check. We're just, we're yeah, just getting into check. it. My buttons work. <laughs> all right, we're in it already. All right. All right. It's like we need to free these goblins from captivity. Right, yeah, some of our goblins here. All this area they're being held in place by these uh, these little pillars, these little ward pillars. So you got to take them out while also Ooh. dealing with some. There we go. I summoned a Drake. And I have made the goblins. I think this is pretty cool. How like you can drop like a, a beam, like you just hold it and it just drops it in a row and like move and stuff. Yeah, two-stage cool. targeting is pretty neat. That was something that we kind of went back and forth on and I'm, I'm glad we went with it. You can, just like you said, you can hold down on a on a spell and kind of point the direction you want and then it'll just kind of fly that way. Uh, yeah. I that tornado spell. I've summoned a hominid. And it is crab. most certainly an awesome crab. So have I. Oh, it's, like, it's a hominid party. 
ain't no crab like the party crab. Here comes a tornado. I I hope this does what I think it does. Oh, yeah. So cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor Griffin! Sweeps him away. Wait, if, if nobody, if, I'm gonna need y'all to slow down the damage. I need to steal stuff. <laughs> can you can just like steal this bird? Can I do nope. it? Oh, yep. nope, bird's still going. Oh, go bird! Dang, it's a buff bird. All right, we, we sandwiched him. Let's kill him dead. Nice. Yeah, he's, a, he's a champion. Okay. Uh, oh, my Night Vale Spectre. Cool. Hey, that wasn't so bad. I'm feeling more confident about this now. Let's free all these other goblins. It, it was it was like 90% you two. I was just <laughs> at, staring at odd all the things I was doing, dropping like hominids. <laughs> My mana to make some goblins. Okay. This is a quicker spell, so I can just keep kicking it. And I think... Oh my god, the goblins! An oh, army, they're so big bad. too. <laughs> Right? There's the, the, so many goblins. Don't they get bigger too, your goblins, if you buff them with like uh Yes. <laughs> I have a banalished marshal out, so they're just huge. Yeah, and Chad, I hope you're looking at the, there's a bunch of hominids yeah. and goblins just partying right now on screen. We got crabs, we got goblins, there's yeah. an angel too. Yeah, look, I have an angel who's washing over these goblins, like, yeah, I guess this is okay. <laughs> She's a little confused. Ouchies. She knows our heart is in the right place. I'm gonna I'm gonna summon a Drake. Pew? Jaw? Pew pew? Is that your big elemental too? Okay. Yeah, that uh, Avatar of Frost is pretty sweet, especially it has an enter the battlefield effect. You can kind of oh, cast shit. that guy like a Look spell. So you kinda of point where you want him to come in and he's like an ice comet. Knocks a bunch of stuff back, does some damage, and then stands wait, up and I can steal all these. Stuff. Not if I yes. kill them first. Oh wait, you stole the that mass manipulation. Them. Yes! I want to check this out. Dang. Look at this army. Tab targeting. <laughs> tab targeting, my bad. <laughs> oh, so these beams are banishing our dudes. So we gotta go kill yeah. these, uh, I, this priest, the priests. Now it's priests. What about my knife ale specter? Whoa. That's pretty so rad. Yeah, banish in our game basically, uh, Kind of stun locks your one one creature, so they can't move, they can't fight, they can't be attacked, and so that's kind of one of the uh, uh, fun little things that this that this enemy group does here. This demolish uh, Gavin Denise in the group. The little green orbs are health orbs, right? Yep. And then you might also see little kind of yellow orbs. Those are also health orbs. But those are health orbs that Jared spawns for you uh, oh. with spells. Thank okay. you, Jared. You Thank go. you, Jared. Yeah. Let's get topped off. The bridge is dropping over here, and I think we can cross the bridge and continue on with the Come mission. Let me in. Let me yeah. in. All right, we're going across the bridge here. There it is, right? There, you just did it. There's some health orbs for everybody. Jummy, jummy juice. It's so cool seeing Squee. Like. <laughs> Yeah, we're just like following him around. He's like, I will never die, so I'll just stand yeah. in the middle of this battle. <laughs> it's just like that's also that's like not my that's not my goblin voice. The multiverse, you know what I mean? It um, makes it very clear, like this is Magic: The Gathering. Yeah, you, you like that the enemies we're fighting right now. You can see they've got the uh, they're actually all as far as I can tell cards that really exist. Fiendslayer Paladins. Yeah. Um. Who was this? A Banalish Priest? Ma yeah, like Mass Manipulation. I, there's a few goblins. I, I think, do you have like the Goblin Chieftain? Or I believe there's a Goblin. Uh, I didn't put it in the deck. She does have the Goblin uh, Goblin Offensive though, which is her number three slot. And that's the one where if you hold it, it's a channel spell. And you just start dumping those goblins out of each your entire mana bar and then fills out all your goblins. Oh yeah, and that's yeah, why that, there's that's... now like eight, no, eight goblins out here. That's and, and the cool thing that you had going on there was because of your artifact that spawns a barrel that does damage, you can use that summon offensively because now you're dumping 10 barrels out there to uh, hit those enemies while you're spawning it out. But Jared's trying to clear the I'm field I'm nowhere here. near you guys. All right, let me, me and my girls. We're gonna I am getting hit it. for a lot. So, okay, how does my ultimate work? Or my special? Okay, so, so your ultimate, you are currently charming anyone that has a blue beam to them, but then you pull your right trigger 
and you just get this like mega attack that you can use just nonstop. It's like a little burst of power you can just oh. use nonstop over and over again. So all the enemies are currently fighting each other for you. So they're like whittling themselves down while you're taking them out. It actually gives your team a good breather because the enemies fight each other nice. while you have them control. So that really plays into like the mass manipulation game plan. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, it's actually one of my favorites. It's actually a pretty cool spark ability oh. because it gives you a chance for, for your creatures, for you to heal them, for them to get a breath while all the enemies are fighting each other. Especially if you take over an enemy elite or an enemy yeah. champion, they will do that work against their own people. So elites aren't safe from my mind control spells then. That's, nope. that's cool. Now, that's cool. My control spells will last a, a lesser duration on an elite than a champion than like a lower level creature. But for your spark power, if you've got them, you've got them. <laughs> All right then. Also, there was just a ton of loot laying around over there. I don't know. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Filled up on that loot. Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna partake in that. I'm gonna drop my hominid in here. Crab. Yeah, drop a crab. Why don't you? Yeah. Look, look at it. It's like. It's a crab shaman. It's got a staff in one oh, of its- Oh, they're homerids? They're actually more like lobsters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is all right, all right. Getting the lore drop. All right, cross uh, this bridge. We dunk that one down. Got the checkpoint. We're doing pretty good. Pretty good so far. Crab dropping? Yeah, we're crab dropping. Let's see what my big R ability is soon. Let's get oh, ourselves boy. in some danger, so I can... I, all right, I like danger. I dropped my clones. All right, I'm gonna just drop another Night Veil Spectre. This card is so cool. Yeah, so the uh, the Sanctifier ultimately just dropped. You get four angels that'll come down and just kind of wreck shop with you, and then your primary gets Yeah, there's changed. a lot of girls out here. Oh, bye, yeah, girls. Yeah, the primary gets changed to Wave Radiance, and you're just, yeah, you're just taking everything. So what exactly are these like tomes that I'm picking up? There's like a purple tome uh, or like a, like a yeah. spell book. Oh, hey, yeah, so it's- oh, uh, Don't stand on that. Yeah, run across. Goblins, right? <laughs> no goblins, don't yeah, so stand those are on spell that. Things. That's how you My kind of level goblins. up your spells. So we kind of imagine it like, as you're leveling up your spells, you're kind of building out a spell book for okay. or Frost. And so you're collecting pages to fill out that book and level it up. So that's what those are. Okay. Well, <laughs> A, wa a wave pool. That's so cool. All right. I'm just going to drop a little Drake. I, on, I, I haven't drawn my either. ice avatar or avatar frost yet. Or no, no, I haven't used it yet. I, I should use that. I've got mine up right now. He's pretty buff. And speaking of buff, there are actually some elites here. Absorb, augmented. They are very large. Ooh. Oh, that's yes, so sweet. Yes, you have some augmented elites. You can certainly do some work. All right, I see a couple friends. of spark powers up, which can help clear that field. Yep, I'm gonna use some of my mana, use my draw. I'm gonna to heal wait down until we get very another very far away from the rest of us. Oh, hey there. I see you're you're just busy ulting over here. That's yep. cool, that's cool. Spin a win. Oh, Jared, oh, drop another dominant. All right, Jared's going ultimate. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Whoa! Thank you for damage. The whole party's been going on over here. They could use uh, your I'm ultimate gonna, over there. I'll tell you, the deletes. Yeah. You pop that ultimate over there. That'll help a lot. All right. So I'm using double right whirlwind. Now. All right. So now anyone that's tethered to you will now okay. fight the other and girl charm. They'll just fight themselves. No way. That's so sick. All right. <laughs> All right, and then, so my W. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I wanna see if I, oh, I accidentally killed it. Oh, you wanted <laughs> to steal it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I keep hitting tab, I'm so used to tab targeting. <laughs> Boom, and they explode with loot. That guy was hoarding a lot of scrolls. Well, those elites, especially at fixed ones, have pretty big multipliers on them for the really? uh, rewards, yeah. So with the multiplier, that's just like more experience or, or loot or it's loot, more right? More everything. You're, everything. Getting, you're okay. getting more more spell pages off of those drops. 
You're okay. getting higher chances for relic drops. You're getting more XP. You're getting more gold. You're getting more everything. So why would you subject yourself to this harder difficulty mode that takes you so much longer to burn through? Because okay. you're being richly rewarded for it. So if you want to level up, you know, all 170 plus year spells, like the higher difficulty modes are the way to go. Okay. So I believe once again, it, there's like expert mode, but then uh, what are all the difficulties again? That are... So yeah, there's normal, hard, um, expert, and master. And match. Then you oh. use to turn oh. on regional effect, regional enchantment, which, uh, which okay. is randomized by the game. Then on the higher difficulty modes, expert and master, you can customize the difficulty with uh, world enchantments. So there might be a world enchantment, and my system team will be screaming at me through chat, I'll see. But there might be a world enchantment that says, enemies can only take damage from creatures. And then that means your sorceries don't do anything, your, your abilities don't do anything, but um, only your creatures. But because you're putting up with that additional challenge, you are getting a huge boost to a specific type of reward. And so you can stack up to three of those in one of those missions to really like blow the doors off the challenge, but also blow the doors off the reward. Okay. And after Ran this one, we'll see ahead. one of those. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of yeah. running ahead of you guys, sorry. There's also Derigaz, or I believe that's Derigaz? how. Derigaz? Derigaz the dragon? Dragon, is he the one who goes an egg? Yeah, that leaves an egg, egg eventually, yeah. Egg eventually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Amy, exactly. Wow, there's just a, a there's field a... glittered with corpses. I, I love that your goblin army is like glowing with like a bright yellow. Oh yes, aura. because I, I just gave them like an, uh, a shield. I just gave them a big shield. <laughs> they deserved it. It's okay, I can do uh, a goblin bombardment now. All right, where is, I need to drop my hominid. Oh, wait, I can drop my little clone group here. Oh. Uh, I was asked about uh, my frame rate looking choppy. That is not the game. That is my stream. Unfortunately, because uh, this game updated while I already had my stream running, I have to do a screen uh, capture rather than a window capture. Uh, so that's why it's a little that. bit, a okay. little bit less smooth than I would like. Yep. It looks uh, a okay on my end. Pre open beta build. Oh, it has nothing to do with the build. It's just like, hey, I, I was already streaming for four hours, <laughs> yeah. so I couldn't restart the stream. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing a little bit of chop on mine too. It's just, uh, we're, we're on like a, a dev client that doesn't have any of the optimization and it's, it's still like missing some tuning and all that jazz. So, yep, for everybody watching, what you will see, what you'll be able to play on Tuesday is gonna be different than this. There's gonna be a lot more polish and stuff in here. Oh, who's this guy? Ergaz, uh, he's looking pretty big though. Hey, handsome. Yeah, he's been hitting the gym. You like him, uh, nice. All right, so that was sort of the mission segment of this, and now we're going to planeswalk into the boss arena. New loading screen art too. Actually entering the banner rig. So you're entering the Mandarin right now. This is the area where the uh, power stones are made within the belly of the Mandarin. So this is kind of an exciting spot. You're also gonna have to say goodbye to all your summons. They don't come no! with you when you enter no, a boss arena. Yeah. Goodbye, goblins. They're partying out there. One last hurrah, but we can summon them back. Get the go goblin crab army going. Boop. There. One so you got Gavin Denise floating there in the middle. You got mana getting fed down into the power stone down there. And uh, you've got some. Power stones were a mistake. Take out his minions and then try and take him out as well. But they're so powerful. Mm, that might be part of the problem. Uh oh. That looks dangerous. Uh, yeah, we That's should probably. Yeah, don't get caught. We should Watch probably out. Run, run, run. Go, 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 go. Maybe. You guys don't like summons anyway, right? <laughs> he just cleared like half of them. <laughs> I totally did not. All right, he's on the battlefield now. So we can mess this dude up. Hey, come here. Come here. I got some lightning for you.
that he's just a generally a kind of a normal human level caster. He's not a planeswalker, but he is getting juiced to the gills with power from the uh, from the power stone and from the mana rig. So he's he is a challenge for you and your little squad here. Well, my squad's about to become a lot more goblinish. Where the rest of y'all summons? I see so they're all frozen. They were taking a little nap. So Gavin Denise is, uh, he is a white caster. And so he could probably put some of that banishment on uh, on your summons there, making, making this a little more difficult. Is he? There he is. Oh, he dipped. All right, he teleported back into the middle. Can we hit him with range spells while he's floating there? Nope. Oh. He's, he's protected by a bubble of mana. But he's Here's... drinking up. I think... Okay. There are many more enemies than there were last phase. There's a lot enemies of everywhere. Little, little uh, spiderlings here and experimental scorpions. And... I think I was able to... Oh, he's charging his laser. Uh, oh, oh, no. oh boy, Mechanics. watch out, watch Mechanics. out. Go, 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 Mechanics. go, <laughs> I totally just face tanked all of that laser. That's one way There's to do it. MMOs who are just like, MMO boss mechanics, I've got this. <laughs> I dodged that one. I was born for this. Oh, he's out. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's um, over here by me. Oh, there's loot though. There's oh, there so many is. shinies. Wait, somebody say loot? But there's loot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mass manipulation, not great against the boss. <laughs> Does it there's just take him over for like all yeah. second? Yeah, exactly. Also, like what happens even if I did take control of the boss? <laughs> right, like, <laughs> yeah. Punch yourself. <laughs> no? Just hang okay. out with us for a bit. Yeah. How's your day? There we go, got that in there. I do really like these cone attacks that I've had so far. They're pretty sweet. Yeah, and there's just a lot of different shapes and kind of flavors of attacks to choose from uh, too, which is cool. I mean, you just kind of built this deck by picking what you thought was cool and mm -hmm. you're rolling. Is there any other way? Yeah, I just kind of just picked a bunch of cards I really liked and it turns out they're pretty sweet. Oh, oh. I might have clicked on your name. Yep, it, it brings up a little uh, menu when you click on another player. Yeah. I'm all in the fray right now, so it's definitely happened a few times. <laughs> Did, Did I accidentally just report you? I think I thought it was just report <laughs> me. I'm trying to kill Gavin. I'm going to contact CS right now. They're going to take that very seriously. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, game's not even out yet, and Amy's already been reported. Yeah, like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to BM. <laughs> There's too many goblins. Okay, so I'm reporting you. Yes. Okay, you can report me for too many goblins. This is this is why uh, the guys at Arena they don't like me either because I just I make too many goblins. Wait, does this do what I wanted to do? Come on, team. Go attack about this to fire. Over here. Watch out! It's gonna come soon. Uh, charging it. But oh. Oh. I'm on it's the other fine. side. Doesn't even fine. matter. Uh oh, it's moving uh, way faster this time. I need to get away. There's mechanics. Oh, run! Mechanics aren't my thing. Oh, oh it's going there. Okay, oh, no, okay. we're good. Nice. And all I these little that. mana siphons are broken now, too, so when you step over these, you take damage. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. Well, I've just been awkward. standing on one, you know. <laughs> perfectly Marinating normal, on smart person. <laughs> okay, He's down again. Through. I think this is the last phase. Let's see if we can. No, this is the last uh, of these mana mana conduits. Yep. The rest of them are all broken. Okay. What? Gavin, come here. Gavin, Whoa. stop standing oh. on the mana. Got him. 
Gavin, stop teleporting. <laughs> Please. I think I figured it out. Ah, oh, nice. Use that tornado to push him off of it. Wait, does that work? Yeah, totally just did. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Here, see if I can lock him in the corner. Yeah! Nobody can yeah! yeah! Put him in the corner so the my little uh, crab person Oh, he teleported. Oh. oh. All right, he's too smart for us. We tried. We're out here trying to cheese this boss. <laughs> like, yeah, get in the corner. <laughs> Game's not even out. Gotta get those uh, pro gamer strats. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to stay alive. I feel like I've almost died numerous times, but that's probably got something to do with. I don't think my healing works on you guys. I, I heal my uh, my creatures and I heal myself, but I don't think the healing extends to you guys. Wait. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to steal these things to attack the boss. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that, that's a good call. So on your class, your class abilities will only heal your guys, but your spell healing abilities and buffs will hit your allies and your and your oh, team. Okay. Beep. Uh oh. I think he's about to die. Yep, he's getting close. Go, little friends. Attack. Go You're goblins, tethered to me. Go. Here, I'm making more goblins. More goblins. More goblins. More goblins. You are actually just a oh, wow. There it is. Nice. Hey, we did it. World first. Live on stream. Yeah, world that first is on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And watch him. Oh, look at that. Oh, a little too much power there for you, Gavin Denise. Toasted. Weird. Okay, there it is. Collect my reward. I do like loot. Let's do it. Right, me, and, me and my goblins. What did I get? Oh, no, I didn't get loot. Aw. I got an Abyssal Fiend. Oh. I like that. Is Planeswalk a way of saying, Let, let's get out of here, too? <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes. Yes. Very flavorful. And you I technically like are because you left from Gavany. Yeah. And you're, you left from Gavany to get to ships and you're going from ship back to Gavany. And so you can, so what's, once again, unrefined ether, what is, what is that? And like eternal echoes, chromatic mana, go, like gold. Yeah, so eternal echoes are used to level up a spell um, higher than level six. So you have to okay. use your ether and some eternal echoes. Um, okay. The ether is what you use to level up your spells and for a variety of other things within your realm and other places. Um, but okay. the cool thing you can do with ether is you can um, trade ether to other players for kind of paid currency. So you can kind of earn everything in the game that even that's in the kind of in the store right there by trading the ether. So it's a pretty useful currency. Nice. Okay. And then Grohl resistance. Whoa. That's pretty sweet. I don't, I don't, what does Grohl Resistance do? That is a, um, a world enchantment. And so that means if you play, if you use that world enchantment, the creatures that are in that map are resistant to red green, um, attacks. So like a buff, right? So then like, yeah, like. It's a buff for the enemies. Yeah. And so you get more rewards by using that on the higher difficulty modes. And I think that we were going to mess around with that right now, Jared, is that what we were going to do? Yeah, actually, I think will take just a little bit of time to create new decks, and then we're going to hop into another mission where we will add the world enchantment. And that this one, I think, is going to be rough. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready guessing. to die. <laughs> yeah, so. All right, so Does let's like involve <laughs> more mechanics as I <laughs> dodged almost none of the last bit of it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I dodged uh, one. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. So I'm gonna take my excellent. Turn. Yeah, we got we got uh, we ate some of the laser. Just drank the fire hose a couple times, but we yeah. survived for it. We were still pretty good. We got a good team comp. So yeah, yes. let's take like five or six minutes if you guys want to create new decks, and then we're gonna hop into the final mission. Decks yeah. are okay. perfect. So it's got how do a new it. deck is? I'm I'm just gonna go hit the, which uh, how do I make a new deck? Do I do I just scrap all the spells I've got now? Yes, yes, I think can, these uh, decks are and change them out or whatever you want to do. Okay. Oop. And for my chat, we've got another poll up here. It's going to be about two minutes long. Go ahead and let us know which colors you want to see. So the first run we showed green. Right now we just showed white blue. We can show those again if you want, but we've got black red left if you want to see those. So we'll pick the top two. Top two options we'll make a deck out of. 
Let's go ahead and vote. That is in Twitch chat right now. Hey, Twitch chat, you don't have a choice for my deck. It's going to have goblins. <laughs> More goblins. More I already goblins. know what I like. It's goblins. Let me see here. Can I go blue red? What does red look like? Red looks like a lot of fire and explosions and some other really cool stuff. Oh, and and also wait, that gives me access to goblins. <laughs> then then we just have goblins everywhere. <laughs> so if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna keep your red white deck, that mark of immolation that's an enchantment and that's pretty cool. So enchantments in our game they last for a set amount of time. Mark of, of immolation every time one of your summons dies they explode while the enchantment is running. So that's that's kind of a neat one to have if you're gonna be rolling deep with a pile of cheap low cost creatures. Could I could I potentially do something like black red? Because like I see that I have this card I just got that seems really sweet, Abyssal Fiend, and I could just sack a yeah. bunch of my goblins, right? Not that I would absolutely ever correct. Want to trade my goblins in, but if I no, could, <laughs> no, black red, you, you can do whatever you want, whatever you want. Black red, like any of the combos are possible, and it doesn't have to match your class. Your class is completely independent from your deck. So if you're ah. around a necromancer, you don't have to have any black spells in your deck. Okay. All right, that's pretty sweet. All right, chat. It looks like my chat also chose red and black. So we're just going to be running mass amounts of goblins. Let's do it. That's got taste. So, yeah, all, oh. all the goblins. Does that mean between us three, there's just... <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. <laughs> Chat. Let's see. Where's the goblins? Molten Shell is excellent. I love that spell. Probably one of my favorites in the game. Goblin that's Rush. A, that's a good spell. That's a good spell. And you're going to need that bonus uh, HP if you guys are taking, you know, loadout score 629 characters into, uh, <laughs> into Expert. Yes, exactly. Dragon fire, lava vortex is good. It's a little bit of control. What else? Butcher. This spell is so fun. Does a lot of damage. Butcher's a good one. Yeah, butcher is a guaranteed crit when the enemies are under fifty percent health. So crits in our game aren't like just oh, it's a five percent chance to crit. They're all based on um, status effects. So for example, goblin bombardment guaranteed to crit on any enemy who hasn't received any damage yet. So it's like the perfect opener. Um, so a lot of those kind of abilities are all over the place in there. Oh my God, am I seeing Bathe and Dragon Fire up there? Absolutely. So good. I, I so just good. got Bathe and Dragon and I am definitely throwing that in here. Is is there a minion cap that you can summon? Yes, yeah, so if you look at you see the creature point total right there at the top. Um, right. So you kind of have this strategy phase where you're building your decks, right? So you can, right now you're at 23 of 12 creature points. So okay. you're just like overloaded with creatures. Might want to take some out, so, maybe. Okay. All right. So might, yeah, so we, maximum is 12. So that's how you do it. So once you're in the match, once you're in a mission, you okay. can summon your creatures left and right. You don't have to worry about anything. But while you're building your deck, that's where you have to worry about it. As you can see each of your creatures has a little point total at the bottom. You can kind of see the bottom. You'll see like, if you click your Shivan Dragon, uh, four or five points. Probably Shivan Dragon cost me a lot. All right, so rare creature. Oh, yep. so there's four points to this. And then, so that's four of my 12? Four of your 12 are on that. So you can have a maximum of 12 creature points. So that's how we're balancing, you know, large creature decks, small creature decks, but it gives you a lot of choice and flexibility if you want your, for example, you could probably run your Shivan Dragon, that Goblin Onslaught, and your Goblin War Chief, and you'll probably okay. be fine. I think that would be enough. But what so about a big old chonker and you have a pile of goblins? Because I love me some demons and dragons, so I, I think I gotta. Yeah, I gotta... you can go that way as well. Oh, pyroclasm! I'm just gonna play that because of the name. All right. That's a good yeah. One. Uh, foes in a line. I sure will. Okay, so that's a spell, and I only need to cut six points. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I have this gigantic avatar of frost. I'm still building. So. Avatar of frost is a, is a monster. 
what's my curve? Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I, as far as I can tell, the, the curve is unnecessary. We don't need that. My curve is very high. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. It's okay to be like mid-range with your curve. You don't have to have like yeah. early game spells like you do in MTG because you, you basically start with full mana and okay. you're, you're not going to get out-tempoed, you know? <laughs> But I could. But yeah, I could. yeah, yeah you could. Um, I was asked, can you play multiple copies of a uh, spell in your deck? No, or is it you always play just solo one? copies of each one. Okay. Yeah, and then you can, um, if you send out another summon, for example, um, it will, uh, the other one will disappear slowly over 10 seconds. So for example, you got your Shivan Dragon out and you summon a second one, you will have two Shivan Dragons out there doing their thing for like 10 seconds. And then the earlier one, the one that you spawn first, will kind of slowly fade out and then the new one will take over. So you get a little kind of bonus potency for a while and then you get, and then you go back to kind of where you're at. So I'm building with, obviously we have to have the goblins, that's important. So we're going yeah. with Goblin Bombardment, we're going with Ogre Mortar, which has a chance to summon some Goblin tokens, and also we're going with Goblin Warchief. So we are stacking up those Goblins. But then other than the Goblins, we're, we're doing a little bit of defense, like we're gonna do Leech Outbreak, which will heal us, and then we've got, uh, where is it? The Molten Shell, which is a nice shield. We've got Infest, which is gonna apply vulnerability so that we'll be doing more damage to the enemies. A little bit of support, and then also Vicious Hunger will heal us too. And then we've got a little bit of draw here with Damnable Pact. And then the Death Curse Fanatic will give us back mana when it dies. And so it's just like a little, just like a little weakling. So we don't have to worry. And also, I don't think we're really buffing any of these creatures. So we kind of want this guy to die. And then we've got Lifelink on the Cabal Knight too. So I'm trying to be really sustainy with this deck. And then we've just got like direct damage with Bathe and Dragon, Fire and Butcher so that we can sort of supplement. Yep. So hopefully we'll be able to survive. Avenger, Avenger still running three points heavy on those creature points, though. Mm, yeah, 15 yeah, 12. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to cut. You've got to make cuts, I know. I would, cut, I would cut Goblin Rush. That's only going to get you two, though. Oh, it's in the middle. two it's goblins. Enchantment. Yeah, that's not even worth oh. And so goblin, every time you cast Rush is an enchantment, you, right? Oh. That is an enchantment, but it has a creature point cost because you spawn token creatures out oh. of that enchantment. Okay, so let me. And that's still not going to be enough. You're still going to. You still need three points. So. See All right. Here. So right now I have well, Abyssal Demon. You know what? I'll get rid of the War Chief. I'll get rid of the War Chief. We yeah, are the War Chief. Yeah. You know, you're focusing on big creatures. You don't need that War Chief. I just want to summon a ton of little goblins so I can sacrifice them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as cruel as that sounds. <laughs> you're basically now you just throw a sorcery in there to taste and you're good. Um, it's pretty neat. Your Annihilation will kill all of your creatures and then all of their power will happen as an AOE right where that ability takes place. So it's a huge okay. sack for a huge amount of damage. What about, okay, so creatures get plus two, minus one. That might kill my own stuff, but... Not it does kill your own stuff. It'll kill a one, one creature. That's correct. Oh, <laughs> whenever... One toughness. Yeah, that, mage has that is been a big non <laughs> Where did you guys go? Where are you? I think I'm chilling in town still. All right. I like post you on the map, so I'm trying to chase you down. Oh, I need to oh, figure yeah. out what the good charge to target to deal. Don't forget to upgrade your spells too. Get all of them to level I six. We're gonna upgraded. need them. Oh, they oh. are very upgraded. All right, excellent. Right on. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I am right now there. a mighty Boros mage who still has goblins, but I have a bit more firepower now, and now I have the uh, base abilities of the Geomancer rather than the white mage. Get it. Awesome. Is Grim Revival worth it? It depends on if you haven't leveled it up and if you kind of, it fits for your deck. Okay. Then Wait, where'd my Shivan Dragon go? I gotta put that back in. I accidentally removed it. A card party's too hard to not play. Uh, where are you, dragon? What is planar magic? Planar mana? Yeah, planar, planar mana is something I'm planar collecting mana right is now. Planar mana is a that you use to level oh, up your, um, your realm. So everyone gets a personal realm in the meditation realm. And so 
planar mana just drops in the world, you get out of missions, get out of enemies, you know, get his rewards. And then you use that to level up your personal kind of home base. And so you have a artifact lab and you have a spell library. And so, you know, there are kind of like three ways to get your spells. You'll get one guaranteed every time you play a mission for the first time. You get one, uh, you can get them as drops and you can get some out of your uh, meditation realm. So you're leveling that up in order to get you know, spell unlocks and unlock some artifacts and increase the quality of artifacts that'll drop. And so Planar Mana has a bunch of uses that'll help you uh, kind of progress your care. Eddie, all right, my deck's all set. Excellent, minus two. How about you, Amy? Oh, I've been just like doing one of these world quests. Oh, okay, rad. Well, <laughs> I'm good to queue I'll up. I'll get out of there. I'll get out of there so we can actually... Uh... <laughs> Go ahead and play what some we, Magic what Legends. Are we, next, we are going to be doing Dreadnought Defense in Talaria. Oh, that's a hey. good one. No, we, yeah. haven't really, we haven't really showed off Talaria exactly. a lot. Exactly. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty region. Talaria, Dreadnought Defense, what difficulty? And you said regional enchantments on? Yes. Let's go to Expert, because I don't know if we're really geared enough to be able to do Master. That requires, like, max level everything, and especially since we're oh. going to be adding the regional enchantment. So let's do Expert with the regional enchantment. Got it. So what's the regional enchantment? Can you hover over so we can see yes, what it is? Yes, the regional enchantment is? is your sorceries do 20% more damage, but you take damage equal to 10% of your max HP whenever you cast one. Your sorceries also do 20% more damage. It's the same Wait, thing. It's copied. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why does it say it twice? Nuts. Little tools of error, but that's yes. That's nuts. Okay. Are we, are we dropping a world enchantment on there too? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. World, world enchantment is on. Not available. It's not available? It said not available. <laughs> I, I'm the one that got the right. one from the last one. Do you want to reset this and then try to go drop the world enchantment? I think we're already rolling. Did you set it up to queue? Okay. Yeah, away we go. We queuing. That's right. okay. That's all right. World enchantments will remain a mystery for everybody in the world until you get to them. Okay. Whoa, is this, what's this? Talk to Sentinel Favric. All right. This is a sort of an so escort this mission. mission. You're kind of escorting down. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're escorting down these artifact guys. And uh, all your favorite Homerid bros that were there in the last mission are now uh, fighting you throughout this area. Okay. So you need to, you're kind of learning right here. You keep these guys. And then when it dies, you'll take his, uh, his little loot that he leaves behind. You'll take it over to the to the Dreadnought to power them up. And okay. so th this will happen throughout the mission as well. Oh, your Goblin War Chief. I, I love the Goblin War Chief. It's, it's got the adorable banner on its back too. Yeah. Does the Goblin War Chief uh, one, affect all goblins zero. or just your goblins? Can I like crew with the, the, with the crew? Yeah, so one zero to all of your creatures and uh, one zero plus haste to all of your goblins. Okay. But nothing, not not your allies. Um, only Aww. spells. Only spells will impact other. I'm I'm summoning the dragon. It's time. Yo, Do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. look it's at the him. Dragon, dragon, fall. Gee, yeah. <laughs> and I gave my creature so lifelink. Right uh oh, does that heal you or it? Uh, let me see. I think it heals. Oh, I know heal something, <laughs> but I don't know wait, who actually. I gotta wait till. What has lifelink? Uh, it says that, well, when I casted the Blood Pack, it gave my creature with the highest power uh, an ability lifelink. So does that mean I gain the life yeah, yeah. or will so it gain the life? You gain the life. So as your creature ah. takes damage, to, like now you're gaining life. So lifelink is pretty juicy, especially on more difficult mode. So it's good that your toughest creature got it because it's pumping out the damage. Oh, look at that. I, you know, I don't think I've seen anyone with the... Um, the Ogre Mortar, as there's some before, it's a, that spell is a high level reward in the Shivan uh, regional reputation that we just announced the other day. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it might've been just today. So yeah, as you progress yeah. your regional reputation, you can unlock that summon, which uh, that barrel that he shoots out of his back, when it hits, it either spawns, uh, it either explodes or spawns a goblin. Am I able to say, steal a creature and then sacrifice it? Yeah, so if you like dominate a creature, um, yeah, you like a sack treason. spell can. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and it can, and you can sack it if you have the appropriate spell to do so. 
Okay. Okay. A lot cool. of interactions. A lot of synergies for the game. Okay. So I'm gonna now. I'm gonna summon my little demon here. <laughs> That's sick. Ooh, yeah, that's a big boy. There we it's go. Like on the bathe in dragon fire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I'm gonna just throw a bunch of goblin stuff in a direction. Yeah, there's just a lot of goblins out here right mm -hmm. now. Where'd my demon go? So you're so you my killed one of the. Yeah, you supercharge your dreadnought. So you're killing those uh, lightning elementals and charging them up so he can work on that homerid wall so you can make it through the next area. No, I've been blasting this wall. I am still attacking this one character behind me that is killing me. I gotta run. Oh, wait, wait, I'm Oh, coming. yeah, that guy's oh, doing oh, a lot oh, of damage. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you? Uh, you've all got your spark powers up as well if, if you want to time out when you use them to kind of clear out this group. It looks like you've almost got that wall. Okay. Yeah, my demon got got destroyed. I don't. I, I think it died. Uh, you know, it, it lived a good life. It did its job. Uh, what about all these crabs? I I don't even want to attack them. I just think they're too cool. But there I did drop a dragon, so I guess I have oh, to. Oh yeah, them. there's kind of a dragon in the middle of this clutch of homerids. That's just like we're having a crab bake. Can I have now a crab bake? Yo, crab, a crab you, bake. Me. We're gonna we're gonna have some crabs. <laughs> I guess it's called a crab boil. It's like a lot. It's a boil, boil, right? Yeah, I think it's a yeah. crab boil. I mean, you could have a crab bake I, or roast. You kind of go with an is it deck and it's red blue, you know, and you're going to toast it. Oh, yeah. Go, my little dragon. Be free. Oh, time to summon the, a bunch of goblins. Summon the flames. Or uh, I actually throw a bunch of barrels. I can't keep track of how much damage I'm doing. These are some very big numbers. I think I might have chosen the wrong ability. That's Goblin Offense. Hold on. Turn that press goblin Offenses? Yes, goblin they offense are. Goblin is the one where you hold it down and it'll eat your mana and continually cast goblins until you're out of mana. Oh, okay. So that does summon me some goblins then. Very good. Yeah, so, very so good. yeah the longer you hold it. So if your bar is full... Yeah. When you hold that down, you'll get 10 goblins out of it. Well, I've just sacrificed all my goblins. Oh, well, you know, that means you did a bunch of damage and you're doing good things. I do like that. I do like that. Okay. And, yeah, and again, it, it sums up all the power of all the enemies, you, of the all the allies you sack to determine the damage for that spell. Well, then it's time to pyroclasm too, then. Let's do that. Pyroclasm. Hello? Did our dreadnought Hello. boy die dead? Do we? Somebody... There are more dreadnought boys around if you keep heading down the way. Oh, you need to okay. uh, charge yeah. them up with those because uh, you're right by a lightning rod. So those lightning elements will show up. And you got to bring them over. Wait. Some of you have the uh, little red ball behind you. Take that over to the dreadnought to oh. uh, turn them back on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where is I will... the dreadnought even? I thought he died. Yeah, I, I need to find it. I think there's another one a little bit further forward. We hit a checkpoint. Do, oh. I, do you have to go all the way back? That's why I wasn't sure. Okay. I ran back and there were no dreadnoughts there. It's not here. So I Oops. think, I mean, he's got a health bar. He's chilling around here somewhere. Oh, he's just working on this wall. <laughs> oh. Okay, he's working on the next wall for us. Oh, he's right. just, <laughs> yeah, just getting some lasers. Hello, yeah, sir, yeah. we have some orbs for you. I just walk up to it. And you can supercharge him with those orbs so he'll do more damage and take out that wall more quickly. Oh, uh, so okay. how does mana regeneration work? Because I haven't quite gotten, like, a good idea for it. I've got this E ability, which seems to uh, refill my mana yeah. a bit faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you gain mana by just being in combat. If you're in combat, your mana will regenerate, let's say, at one mana per second. Because you're okay. dual color, it'll be an even split. So let's say you're red, I white, might have and died. it's 60% oh, red, no. and you will earn points white mana. Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Every second. Retreat. Totally Retreat. died. Yeah. I, I might have died. <laughs> Live, baby. <laughs> Live to tell our tale. There's some elite hominid dudes that just came up and ganked us from behind. All right, here they are. Uh, I should not be walking into them. Are you back? Them. It seems yeah, like yeah. you're alive again. Yeah, we hit a checkpoint, so we were able to res pretty oh, close. Yeah, see, those are, uh, those are death touch creatures and so one touch oh. will kill your summons oh yeah that's why extra <laughs> oh, death touch crab death is that touch why my is terrifying are dead? you monster yes wait there are death touch your dragon. <laughs> wow. 
one touch of damage and your dragon will kill him. That's yeah, terrifying. Doesn't it doesn't one touch kill you? Right, but it right. Will kill your summon. Oh, but or I result keep in you dying. probably dying shortly thereafter. For goblins, they deserve better than this. I'm sorry, everybody. I've died they again. To be sacrificed by <laughs> by Avengers Annihilate. They don't deserve to die by a Hummer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, they, oh, they, they, they're, they're killing him too fast for me to sacrifice him. Yep, just kite like your life depends on it. Our poor little okay. goblins. They served us well. Uh, looks like your your dreadnought needs some new juice. Uh, all right. Well. Oh, you're playing the Geomancer. You got your giant rock monster ability. That's awesome. Hit the, the right. Uh, hit the right. The uh, Q key. There you go. All right. So now I got to figure out what I can. Oh, there's there's health orbs and loot. There's so much loot. There's a More lot of loot. Importantly, there's other other health orbs. orbs. <laughs> Where's the, the orbs for that fellow, the dreadnought? We, hey, sir, I've got some orbs. Yeah, wh where'd our friendly little dreadnought go? Dreadnought. He's a busy Naughty little boy. worker bee. Naughty boy, we got some orbs for you. Did it get blown up? Ah, uh, yeah, he totally got blown. death touched. Oh, do we, do we have to go back? And, oh, I found, I found I it. So, yeah. I found it. I just right, supercharged cool. it. Excellent. Uh. It's, uh, wait, is this like a lightning elemental following it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, like these lightning elementals are where we get the orbs from, I think. Okay, yeah, those things are hitting me. Yeah, lightning elementals to take the orbs and keep your guys supercharged. You can see the flames coming out of his, out of his yeah. back, right? He yeah. Supercharge, you does way more damage. All right, I got, I got to get out of here. These things are hitting me too hard. You know what? It's time to bathe in dragon fire. Oh, I see yes. that you've just uh, kited some fellows over to us. Hey, yeah, I just wanted to, to just, I wanted to share the love. I didn't even know you were like in danger. I'm just like out here hanging by the wall. Oh, I am very much so in danger. <laughs> Please, demon, don't die to any death touch uh, crabs. All right. Oh, there's a lot of girlfriends here. Looks Yay. like you're not gonna make it all the way down to the kind of big finale boss fight. Yeah, we got 40 timer. seconds left. There's so many things. These things are, are actually, they don't die all that quick. They, uh, yeah, have quite I think some that health. might be better to ignore and just. Where, where does yeah. But hey, well, the dreadnoughts we... just go. The dreadnoughts just go in. What's up, homie? Good for him. He's on a mission. I don't know if we can kite, though, right? Because if we kite it for long enough, I think they'll eventually all catch up and kill us, right? They certainly will. That is, that I, is there's only one way to find but out. <laughs> I'll say it's not the creature's fault that hey, they're not, not dying going. quickly. You know, uh, yeah. They aren't ready for what you're playing right now. We are not. <laughs> we definitely are not. But I am mind controlling stuff that's near me. Oh, well. So that would be that would be juicy, right? If you were mind controlling those death touch creatures, then they are one shot killing all their own people. Now, death touch creatures are gonna have like a skull on their head, right? Or something. Correct. And there's a variety of those different kind of uh, fixes that'll have little notifications to let you know what they do and okay. how they operate. So we got through the last wall. We did. And so this is kind of like your, your once again, your lightning round. You'll have any of your surviving dreadnoughts will be down here, and you're going to have an invasion of Wait, you of can have multiple dreadnoughts? To take out. Could we have been you, um, they, hiding they many survive. of them? Oh. <laughs> they survived. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought there was only one. Okay. We may have been doing some things <laughs> slightly I don't think we understood what we were doing, because we're ding-dongs who just We did it, though. Buttons. We did it. You did we it! Did Even it. though we you died, we it. still did it! Oh, what's it? Expert mode or easy mode? The, easy, yeah, easy. right, right. I only died like a ton of times, it's fine. <laughs> Sir, are you okay? And so you picked up an, you picked up an Azorius themed uh, world. Okay. So, do, do we, can we try a world enchantment? We could but not today that's got to be okay. it for the stream okay yeah right. unfortunately that's all the time we got for today that was so much fun and you guys will be able to try out these world enchantments when you get to play the game for realsies in pc open beta on march 23rd which is this upcoming tuesday five days away i'm gonna check it out no wipes no progress lost when the game launches you keep everything you've done and just keep rolling through i'm ready I'm gonna make the most smashing planeswalker you're gonna see, and I'm gonna summon goblins more than anyone has ever seen. So I'm many. I'm really goblins. gonna specialize in just mind controlling everything. All <laughs> Although right, that so makes Chris, me, 
kind of useless at the enemy boss. Goblins. I'll make my own <laughs> goblins, and between the two of us, we will attempt to find what is the maximum number of goblins. I, yeah, that, what is, like, if we can do ten goblins each? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we steal some enemy goblins and crap. Yeah, mm. that's like a goblin mosh pit, and then it'll be great. Yeah, Perfect. throw a few little crabs in there, you know, maybe some yeah, dragons, yeah. and you got a party. With one big demon to, like, sack everything to, and it'll be great. Well, that was a blast. Thank you two so much for joining us. We're gonna have to sign Thank off you here. For having us. It was great getting yeah, to this uh, was play awesome. the game with the help of the devs, getting to, yeah. you know, see everything in action and get an early look at the game. Yeah, thanks for getting to play like, multiplayer. You know, like, yeah. we keep it easy, but like we wanted to kind of get our face kicked in a little bit just to see what that's yeah. about. <laughs> and that I did, I died a lot. <laughs> just a little, just a little I lot. died a lot. <laughs> but yeah, that was rad. Amy the Amazonian, Asian Avenger, thank you both so much for being here and helping us reveal all of these exclusive things. Like, we've never shown multiplayer before, we've never shown the higher difficulties before. Tons of new spells, like actual legit deck building. So we really appreciate your time, and it was a blast. We were successful in all of our missions today. We made some rad decks. You guys yeah. made pretty Planeswalkers, and it was sick. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate that. Thanks for having us. Well, cool. From my side on the official channel, thank you, all of you, the fans and everybody who was watching on Amy's channel and on Asian Avengers channel. You know, we really appreciate all of you being here, checking out our game too. You know, we couldn't do this without you guys. And on the official channel, be sure to follow us at Be A Magic Legend, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, where the devs are too. A little bit of a spoiler, I'm going to be revealing some spells over the weekend too, so be sure to hop onto our Discord and you can get a little bit of a sneak peek at some of the spells that maybe you didn't catch today. Uh, again, the giveaway too, last just a little plug for this, Logitech Mouse, check that out. The link is in the title on Twitch and it'll be in the description on YouTube and wherever else you find it. Rikosa, any closing words? Uh, oh, the thing I'm supposed to say, I'll see you in the multiverse. Yeah. <laughs> So for everybody at Cryptic, for everyone at Perfect World, for Rakosa and myself, thank you so much. And we will see you in open beta on March 23rd on Tuesday. All right, wave tour out. Bye.